<laughs> Recently during an interview for GLAAD, the amazing Linda Carter, Wonder Woman, talked about her first time in a gay bar while filming Wonder Woman in the 70s. She said, quote, we pranced in and all the men were dancing together. It was very audacious. New York gay bar, it was hysterically funny. I just enjoyed being around my gay and lesbian friends so much, end quote. Question number four, I'd swallow that. I would have peed just a little if Wonder Woman would have been in my gay bar. Oh my gosh. I think I just peed me? a little right now. Just this reading. Yes. I have a napkin. Oh my God, thank you. I'll and drink I, way too much water before this. Uh, when I had the pleasure of interviewing Linda Ooh. in 2007. Mm -hmm. You did? She's, yes. She said that Bette Midler was her, her hero of live performance slash acting. That she did both. Like she was a stage performer and then she became an actress. And she said, quote, that she would ever have a career, if she could have a career like that uh, and to have a gay following, she would know that she had made it. That she was a success. And awesome. she did. And she awesome. is. You True, know, Wonder Woman right. is an LGBTQ plus yeah, an icon, icon. Totally an icon. icon. Like, you know, I don't know any gay boy that didn't see her as a kid and just like didn't know if they loved her or wanted to be her, but right. knew there was some kind of attraction. And as a lesbian little Latina Amazon girl, I was just like, <laughs> I want to live on that island where the rest of you are. I belong there. You know, and for me, she was a better Wonder Woman than the hot, gorgeous uh, oh, Godot. 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 Yeah. I mean, which... I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't I mean, throw her out of bed. I, 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 I trust, you know, but Wonder Woman, just her elegance, her grace, her beauty. Mm -hmm. And we forget that that show is old as hell. Mm -hmm. Her spins. Her yeah. spins. Not for oh, yeah. Spins. Spins. Yeah. Drag yeah. queens yeah. learn yeah. about spins yeah. from Wonder Woman. Yeah. Yeah. Ask a drag right. queen. They will tell you. I'm not lying. They learn yeah. their spins yeah. from practicing with Wonder Woman. And she's more than that because she's a great singer. She mm -hmm. does this, this cabaret act. I mean, she has... There's a lot more to her than just Wonder Woman. Well, and, yeah. and she supports us. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's admirable to hear, you know, that she loves the fact that yeah. she's an icon, mm -hmm. you know, and that she has this following with the gay community, <laughs> you know, because we have many icons, you yeah. know, and I'm hoping that more celebrities feel mm -hmm. that way as well, because we do, we're loyal fans. Yeah. You know, we buy merchandise, yep. we download music, we go to concerts. Yep. Well, we don't download music anymore, do we? No. We don't. Do we no. download music anymore? No. 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 I mean, you we can, just play you it can on download iTunes. it on Spotify. If yeah. You to it on an we play it on yeah. iTunes, you know, but back in my day. Yeah. Uh -huh. Back in oh. your day. We used to download music on Napster, you know, like we used to make. I, had a, I, I used to steal, I mean, I used to steal my sister's <laughs> iCarly MP3 player, if that, oh. you know. Yeah. MP3 player. Wow, MP3 I haven't heard of something player. like that in forever. Wow. So that was the Justin future. Bieber that was and the like future, the Tarzan Max. soundtrack. Wow. God, the fact yeah. that Justin Bieber is now old too. Like, what's happened right. to the world? Right? I'm, like, Justin Bieber was I'm like this flying. little little twink boy on YouTube. And look at him now. Like, he's married to a Baldwin. What's happened to the world? What's happened to the world? I, what I remember when I first arrived as a little boy in this country, and it was my first winter, and they took me to get my winter boots, and I picked out red boots. And in my mind, I wanted them to be my little Wonder Woman. Aww. That's great. <laughs> that is <laughs> awesome. So great. Oh that my is God. the cutest little story Dan Rios has ever said here. <laughs> I'm buying you red boots for Christmas. That is oh my so God, cute. cute. So so cute. And speaking of red boots, like every Halloween, how many gay people do you see dressed up as Wonder Woman? Always, always a big you amount mean of people. With a harness and red underwear? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just Tuesday. And yeah, no, no, no. Right? They yeah, they'll just put on anything red and anything they're like, with a harness. Wonder yeah. Woman. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> So you when, need the belt. And, yeah. and you just need the belt. Um, <laughs> no, that's all. That's all. That's when, all you need. when Linda Carter was asked about, um, you know, the the drag queen story time and how mm. Ron DeSantis wanted to like, you know, obliterate that anywhere he goes and all that kind of stuff, she said, uh, "Why would people think that drag queens are scary? You know what's scary at a kid's story time? The clowns." Yeah. And I gotta agree. Those clowns yeah. are scary as hell. <laughs> yeah. Drag queens are better. So wisdom. Absolutely. You have no, so much. No. You're so wise, yes. Linda Carter. Do not die, please. Love you. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.